Blade Ball has a ton of swords in the game, and some of them are rarer than others. And when they are the rarest, they get the esteemed title of being a secret sword. And because they're so rare, of course, not everyone has seen all of them. So I'm here to showcase them all. So that's the plan for today. We're going to go ahead and check out every single secret weapon and its awakened version in a row. And the, the order will be as you can see them right now on the screen. So if you want to skip ahead to a favorite weapon or a weapon you really want to see, just look at the order. I have them right now on the screen because we will just go ahead from go from top to bottom. As well, of course, this video was a lot of time. So, of course, if you can do ahead, be sure to hit the like button down below. Guys, subscribe if you because it really helps me and my channel out a lot. Comment down below what should the showcase next? Should it go for all abilities? Should it go for all explosions? Because they have a bunch of secrets as well. Or do you want me to go ahead and showcase like all the admin stores, for example? We have the Armored Crusher first up. This is going to be our first weapon of the day. Look at this bad boy. He looks really good. After that, we have the Ancient Defender. A nice looking sword which looks like this with no custom slashing animation after that we have the architect coming in no custom slashing animation so we're just going to keep moving on normally when these awaken they get one after we have the ash blade Ooh, okay not bad as well i'm rushing a little bit through this because we have a lot of swords today and we have the awakened crusher this is where it gets interesting guys because normally the awakenings are just so much cooler they get some animations so i'm excited to showcase these awakened versions uh so we have the awakened crusher look at this sword this thing looks crazy let's go slash animation nothing special for this one it is what it is okay we'll go to the ancient defender this one though should have one let's see oh yeah 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 Look at that, look at that. That is really nice. Gets a little bit of a purple glow over there. Not bad at all. Then we're going to move on to the Awakened Architect. Get some more particles on the sword right there. And should get a custom slash. Yes, beautiful. I love when these get such cool sound effects. I love the guy. That's really good. Alright, so then we have the Awakened Ashblade after that. Ooh. Gets a little some more bips and bops on the sides. Oh, as well. Nice little fiery. I, the, the, the sound is not the greatest. I like the, the, the clang sounds, but yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, moving on. We got ourselves the Awakened Bane of Ferocity. So we're starting with some Awakened versions instead of the normal versions. So let's go ahead and check out this one. So Awakened Bane of Ferocity gets a nice animation as well. Fiery Slash. Okay. Then after we get ourselves the Awakened Blazing Dark Blade. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is, what is, this is what I mean. This sound effect is so good. Nice little black as well over here. Like a little bit of like a thunder slash. Very cool looking sword. After that, we got ourselves the Awakened Celestial Ages. Ooh, a lot of particles and a nice animation once again. Very cool looking sword. Then we get ourselves our first non-sword. We get ourselves the crystal staff. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go into, uh, into like this mode right here to take a look at this weapon. Like if I see like a really cool weapon, we're going to go into this mode and we can take a little bit of a closer look because this thing is crazy. All right, let's see. What does this slice animation is like? Oh, no custom animation. Man, that is... A, oh, I, I thought it would be something crazy. Okay. Probably one of the older weapons. Because, of course, at the start, they didn't do these custom slashes and stuff. We have the Awakened Cursed Abyss coming in right here. Okay. Uh, we had a custom animation. Nice little black and green over there. And a tiny little speck of animation over there. You see, like, a very small one? That's pretty cool. Uh, up next, we have the Awakened Dragon's Wrath. Nice little scythe. But no custom slashing animation. Okay, now we have the Awakened Agronox Blade, which is probably a Easter secret. So let's go ahead and equip this bad boy. Ooh, okay, let's take a closer look at this bad boy, because there's so many little details on this sword. And you probably want to see these. So, little eggs on there. Little flowers. Okay. Very cool sword. So, let's go ahead and showcase the slash. Oh, it does have a custom one. I was... Oh, I thought maybe we wouldn't have one. 
Nice. I love the deep slashing sound. Of doo -doo 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 -doo. We have the Awakened Emerald Katana. Okay, let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. Our first katana of the day. Ooh, okay. This one actually is kind of crazy. Look at the mini details on the sword. Like, even the little bit of... Like the plant in there, because there's like spikes on them at the bottom. That's crazy. Okay, very cool detail, Katana. Let's quickly do the slashing. Oh, yeah, I like this. I like this, Katana. It could have been a little bit longer, to be honest, but it's pretty good. Now we have ourselves the Awakened Emperor's Axe after that. Ooh, I love the Awakened versions. They're so good. No custom slashing animation, but they look amazing. Awakened Imperial Blade. Very small blade. Wait, oh, oh, this is probably the smallest sword we've seen so far. But it does come with a nice animation for slicing. Very nice. Okay, after we have the Awakened Ethereal Side. This thing looks crazy already. Okay, let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. No, no slashy. No slashy animation. Oh, it looks cool, though. It looks cool. Very cool. The particles on the side. And yeah, we'll go to the Awakened Fabled Sword instead. No custom slashy animation. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It could be better. Awakened Forgotten Side. We've not forgotten about this one. Ah, uh, but they've forgotten about the slicing animation. Ah. Uh. Okay, we'll go to the Awakened Frozen Eternity. Ooh, okay, another sort of like scythe spear lands, but it's a bit different. Very, very cool. Of course, let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite sword so far? Or if you've watched every single one of them, what was your favorite sword we have seen in this video? So, we'll go next after we try the slicing. Ooh, okay. Very different one as well. Custom sound effect. It's like a frosty sound. That's really nice. Okay, we got ourselves the Awakened Hydra's Bane. Just another sword. I think like the, the yellow swords are like the least interesting ones, to be honest. They all kind of look the same. They all kind of blend in together. We have the Awakened Kraken's Fury. Is he going to break the mold? Okay, a little bit of a red sword action. Some nice bubbles, some nice fire. Oh, a triple colored slice. I think it's the first three color slice we've had so far. Pretty nice. Okay. Then we have ourselves the Awakened Kraken's Wrath. I have that a lot of red, like a big, like, Dragon Ball Z aura. And a nice. Oh. Okay. We got like little particles as well coming off. You see right there, like a little one here. We got ourselves the right, red slices. Okay that at all now we have the awakened lunar hammer okay this thing this deserves a zoom in holy look at that craziness of a weapon that is sick oh please please for the love of god have a slicing animation no of course it does not like it's the coolest oldest weapons that never have a slicing animation that really sucks we have the awakened lunar protector up next oh nice little scimitar Ooh. okay actually okay actually it deserves a zoom in this thing is crazy look at the details on this bad boy got to sell some lunar moons got some stars some ribbons this thing is really crazy, guys. Okay. Ah, no slice animation. It is what it is. Very cool sword, regardless. We have ourselves the Awakened Medusa's Wrath after that. Ooh, love the glow over there. And a nice sound animation. Okay, very good combo. Could be combo comboing well with some skins if you have that ready. Uh, we have the Awakened Megalodotooth Relic. One of the newer swords in the game. And, of course, it delivers with a triple color and, as well, the sound effect. Very cool sword. Very cool design. Uh, we have the Awakened Moral Duality. Oh, yellow at the top, red at the bottom. Nice. Oh, different kind of sound as well. We've not heard this one yet. Ooh, okay, okay. Not too bad at all. We have ourselves the Awakened Nightfall up next. Pretty bulky sword, but it has a good animation. This is like a little bit of an animation on par with a premium sword, which is kind of nice. Uh, we have the Awakened Perius Storm's Glory, a rainbow stick. 
and it has rainbow colors. Yeah, not too bad at all. Um, then we have the Awakened Phoenix Rebirth. Another yellow sword with no animation. I don't really care too much about these, let's be honest. Uh, we have the Awakened Righteous Blade of the... Ooh, let's zoom in on this bad boy. We got ourselves some nice feathers on the side. We got ourselves some sword action at the bottom. Ooh, very, very, very clean. Does it have an animation? No, it does not. Up next, we have the Awakened Sky Axe. This one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it does have an animation. I thought it was one of the older ones. Oh, little clouds. That looks really nice. I love the axes. They could have, like, I would have loved to have seen a little bit of a bigger version, though. Like, if this one was, like, two times the size, it would be crazy. Uh, Awakened Staff of Despair. All hope is lost when you see this one. Oh, I love the staffs in this game as well. Like, look how crazy these look. These like, things are amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, let's just go ahead and see if it has a cool animation. Oh, it does. Let's go. Okay, nice little clang and red. Okay, beautiful. We have the Awakened Sub version. Oh, okay. Not bad. Just a red sword. Awakened Sunburst Axe. Another Lunar Axe. No slicing animation. But Axe looks really cool. The hammer is better though. We have the Awakened Titan's Gleam. Oh, No custom animation. But I like the Gleams. They're pretty cool. And we have the Awakened Trinity Axe after that. Looking pretty awesome. No slicing animation. The Awakened Venom Weaver. Ooh. Oh, has a custom, custom animation. Beautiful. Okay. Very nice sword. And then we have the Awakened Void Hammer. This thing is quite big on the side. Again, I would have loved if it just was two times size. It would have been crazy good. No custom innovation, older weapon as well. But does still deliver very much in the looks as well. Awakened Winter's Touch up next. Ooh, a nice big snowflake. Kind of in your face, to be honest. But looks nice on your hip we have the normal bane of ferocity we've seen the awakened one before no slicing animation we have the blazing dark blade so we're gonna get into the territory we're gonna see no the non-awakened version so we're gonna go through these a little bit faster because you know the awakened version are probably cooler than the normal ones are anyway but like i said i want to showcase every single weapon there is in the game and make sure you guys have seen them all. Because maybe you do like the non-awakened version. Or you can only find the non-awakened version. So I want to make sure that you guys can see every single one of them. How they look like. So we have the Dragon's Wrath right here. Very cool particle though coming out of the hilt. We have the Equinox Blade. Like it's just like awakened. It's just a lot less particles. And sometimes they, they are smaller. Because this Katana has shrunk in size. And we have the Emperor's Axe. Uh, actually you can see a little bit more about the Axe. That's pretty cool. Then we have the Imperial Blade. Yeah. So it's just like a little bit of a downgrade normally in, in particles. But still, they look very cool. We are just going to go through these very quick. So the Fabled Sword. Nothing in there. The Forgotten Scythe without the particles. Then we have the Frozen Eternity. Uh, you can actually see a little bit more about this one as well, which is pretty cool. We have the Hydra's Bane. After there you go. Boom. Some more yellow action. Basic Kraken Fury. Basic Kraken's Wrath. And then we're going to go down. Basic Lunar Hammer. Oh, this actually looks really good. Okay. I do like the Awaken and the normal Lunar Hammer very much. Lunar Protector. Ooh, becomes a very basic sword. Um, Medusa's Wrath loses a lot of its particles. It's way better in its secret form. Megalodon Relic as well is now just a blue sword. Moral duality in its basic is just kind of, you know, it is what it is. Like, that's his thing, though. Like, with these weapons being able to awaken, they are not that cool in his base form. Let's be honest. Oh, I do like this one. I do like this one. It makes it seem like a very, like a nice little glow stick. It's really cool, actually. And then we are going to go to this one right here. The Phoenix Rebirth. Righteous Blade after that. Looking pretty cool. Then we have cells the Sky Axe Basic. No, and it, like literally every single one of these does not have a awakened form, sadly. Uh, I mean, like without the awakened form, they don't have a slicing animation, so it is what it is. Then we have the sunburst axe, and we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Oh, okay, not bad. Then we have the titan's gleam, nice sword. 
Then we have the Trinity Axe, the Venom Weaver, the Void Hammer, and the last one, the Winter's Touch. Okay, that was all the secret weapons inside of the game, all its normal, all its awakened versions. Which one is my favorite? I would say I probably would go for the Awakened Lunar Hammer. Is probably my favorite one off the lot. I do like the, the, the staffs as well, but just like how cool this weapon looks on your hip. If this thing would be two times the size, like you can imagine how crazy this weapon would be if you have it. So I think that's going to be my favorite weapon of today. Uh, of course, comment down below what was your favorite secret weapon inside of Blade Ball. Uh, maybe you can even comment which one was your favorite non-awakened and your favorite awakened weapon. But definitely for me, it is the Awakened Lunar Hammer is my favorite weapon of the bunch. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is going to be every single secret weapon inside of Blade Ball. Comment down below, of course, which weapon do you want to see next? Maybe you want to see explosions next. Maybe you want to see all the abilities next. I am down to make a video on literally absolutely anything that's in here. You want to see the admin weapons? You know, you want to see, like, some cool weapons like the Titan Blade. Like, there's some crazy things out there. So comment down below which one you want to see. You know who doesn't like to run around with the noob and, uh, you know, spamming oof? That <laughs> looks so, so derpy. That's it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Get subscribe if you want to see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So, you guys, take care. Love, bye. Thanks so much for watching. And, of course, as well, take care.